Hey, what's up, nerds? Paul here at Radio Free Hammer Hall, and I am going to be bringing you today a little hobby video. Now, this is something that is going to be near and dear to the hearts of many players of Cities of Sigmar, and that is rebasing your army that is still on square bases. Now, I'm sure people have uh, done videos on this before, but I wanted to kind of do a refresher course for fo folks and uh, give you a little bit of uh, a few ideas of things that you can do for rebasing your army. So I've got a couple of different examples here of simple things we can do to rebase. With Cities of Sigmar coming out, we have a lot of armies that have been sitting on the shelf with square bases, never got rebased, and now that we have the Cities of Sigmar book, uh, there's going to be some rebasing to be done. So, without further ado, we are going to explore a couple of different options for rebasing your army. First up, we have this guy here. He is an old metal model that has... Uh, let's see if I can actually get this in frame. A slotted base. So this one is actually relatively easy to do. Basic idea, we're going to take our clippers. This is your critical tool for working on rebasing. I'm going to take our clippers right here, right where that edge is at the end of the slot. And we're going to just clip right there. And you can see here, that's already causing a big separation. We just turn it around. And we clip the other side. And you see that just, half of that just fell off immediately. And then with a little pop, you can get the glue off of the other side. Now, we're left with just the old metal model and this little slot stub down here. And thankfully these old metal models are nice and soft so we can take our clippers and just go right here, just flush to the bottom of his feet and clip right through on both sides. And we're left with a little bit in between. That was just some basing material. We can just clean up with our fingers. We have now two nice clean feet to stick this guy onto a base. So I've got a nice round plastic base right here. And my super glue. Always remember if you're using metal models, use super glue. I personally prefer this stuff, the Loctite Gel Control Super Glue. Gives you a lot of control over where your glue goes, how much you get, etc. And it's very good for actually adhering things together, including metal. So, all we do now is stick this guy onto our base. And there we go. First model rebased. Now, I took a little extra time just because of explanation of what was going on, but that is a relatively simple method to do. So we're going to set him to the side. And we coincidentally have another of the same guy. This is old cannon crew, another metal model. Now, this is going to be a little bit more difficult of a demonstration, but... This is an alternate method that you can use for rebasing. Rather than removing the entire base, what you can do is remove just this lip at the bottom of the base, right here, and then stick that right down on top of your new base and just have your connection of the model to the new base, 
basically be model old base then new base it's uh then gonna have to get covered up neatly by some crafty handiwork with uh rebasing that model like what the top ends up looking like but here's the basics of how you do this what I would do is come in first at one of the corners right here and you just clip that corner and then clip the opposite corner on the other side. Now that gives us, you can kind of wiggle it here. You have this piece. Let me make sure I'm staying in frame. I'm kind of new to doing these hobby videos. So I'm trying to like look at where I am at the same time. Now we can get our clippers in here and see where we have this little ray or the portion that raises this model up off. And we're just going to clip right along the edge here. And let's flip it around and get it from the other side. Now, if you see here, this leaves you with just that base, just the top of that base to then stick to another model. And you would just repeat this process going now all the way around the base. And something you may need to do with this is then come in again and clip the corners so that your base is going to fit nicely on top of that round. So here we have 25 millimeter round. We can see that this guy is going to be sitting nicely on there once we have everything done. This is actually another metal slotted base, so it's a little bit more of a challenge to get that done. Um, not the ideal model to be demonstrating this with, but it's what I got because I've already rebased basically my whole army. I was hard pressed to find anything that was still on square bases. So that is a nice, easy one there. So I'm just gonna pull off the rest of that base. And our last one here is this is a cavalry base, and I'm going to be using this for the final demonstration of ways to rebase your models. And this is perhaps a more hazardous method of getting it done. If you like to live dangerously, this is the method for you. So we can see here where his feet are connecting to the base. And rather than cutting into this base, we are going to separate the model itself from the base to glue it onto our new base. So we're gonna come in with our clippers, make sure that the flat side of the clippers are as flush as you possibly can make them to the bottom of that base and just give it a clip. Now we do that for all of the feet here. Flip that around to get the front. And one last guy here. And now we've got our model cleanly removed from the base. Just have a little bit of cleanup here left to do just to make sure that all of these pieces are gonna be flush and we have no extra material. Now, for these particular things, we have some extra points of contact. And I'm just gonna cut those right now just so that we don't have that superfluous extra material. Because this guy, although he has four legs, he can really just stand on those two. So then we're gonna take our appropriate oval base Take his two feet that are going to be on the ground here, add a couple of dabs of glue, and stick this guy 
neatly onto his new oval home. So there you have it. Three different methods of getting your models rebased from square bases onto rounds. Um, certain parts are going to be much easier on metal models. Some are going to be much easier on plastic models. But this does not need to be the insane chore that you might think it would need to be. Um, a lot of these models can clip off pretty easily. And once you kind of get a rhythm going, you can really just rip right through these guys and rebase a tremendous number of them. Um, I can't tell you how many I've rebased. I did my entire free guild army that's composed of probably a, almost 200 infantry, um, as well as demigriffs and heroes and a variety of other things. And of course, I'm actually in the process of re-rebasing things because I had my free guild generals and my other uh, human heroes on 32 millimeter bases and I was not aware that the basing guide is telling you now to put those on 25 millimeter bases. So I'm in the process of taking them off of their 32s and putting them onto your, the appropriate 25 millimeter base. Now there's one other thing that we can do here. I'm gonna just grab a kind of example. Do I have something over there? No, I don't. This is just one other quick thing that I wanted to note for everybody that here we have an example of one of the other options that you can do. And this is just one of my old objective markers, but it serves as a good example. If you have an old base that is smaller than the new base, for example, if you have an old 20 millimeter square that now goes on to a 32 millimeter round, what you can simply do is do no cutting at all and stick that base directly onto the 32. And then as you can see here, this is like a little mound. All you do is take a little bit of green stuff and you build up that edge to make it a nice smooth transition and you've rebased your model with very little effort. And it also has that nice effect of raising them up a little bit. So the model looks a little bit more prominent. Typically this is gonna be with your heroes. So it's going to give you a little bit of an extra bump in making them stand out in your army. So that's it for now guys, that is some basics of rebasing your old legacy armies for your Cities of Sigmar forces. And that is going to be all. As always, hit that like and subscribe for more content. And our Patreon linked down below. And our Patreon pledge that 100% of our Patreon revenue goes directly back into investing in the channel for better equipment and other things for the channel to improve our content for you, the viewer. So I will, with that, see you all later in the next video.